It was my grandma's funeral, but she wasn't there. The hearse driver had her body miles and miles away, stuck in traffic on a major highway. And there we were at the graveside, waiting and waiting. After hours had passed, we decided to have the funeral without her. So we conducted the service all the way up to the point where the pastor was going to commit her body to the ground. And he said, I can't go any further without her. You know, eventually she showed up and we conducted the funeral. And after that, it went off without a hitch. But when I think back on that story, it kind of makes me wonder how many of us Christians are late to our own funeral, our spiritual funeral. Romans 6.6 6 tells us that our old self died. Galatians 2.20 says we were crucified with Christ. It seems like a lot of us Christians, though, we feel like we're half dirty and half clean, that we're somehow still the old self along with the new self. You know, kind of like the movie Weekend at Bernie's, dragging around a corpse with us all weekend. The old self, is it still around? Is that the reason we still sin? Is it a schizophrenic Christianity? Are we half new and half old? Is this what God designed for us in the New Testament message? Maybe we are new, but how can we really believe it if we can't explain why we still sin? You know, if we believe that we're old and dirty, we're going to act like it. We're also going to engage in some self-improvement that is a bottomless pit. Not too long ago, we lived in South Bend, Indiana. We had a historical home that was designed by a student of Frank Lloyd Wright with long overhanging eaves and vertical windows and beautiful architecture. It was a work of art and it was registered with the historical society. People even came to see it on tours. Now imagine if we had moved in and I decided I was going to fix it up. I grab a sledgehammer and go to work. I say, you know, this roof, it needs to be more pitched. These windows, we need to break them up some. And I go about changing a work of art. I'll tell you what, you don't mess with a masterpiece. God says that we are recreated in Christ Jesus, that we have a new identity, that we're holy, and that we're accepted in the Beloved and that He likes us and loves us and embraces who we are. Yes, there's some yard work to be done, but the structure is sound. We are God's house, the temple of the Holy Spirit, made perfect by one offering, and we're heaven ready. Were we to be taken in this moment, there wouldn't be a last minute polish. Yes, we get a new body. Yes, we won't struggle with sin or the flesh. But we, who we are essentially as people, we are loved and we are okay and we are right. And God calls us a workmanship. He finished us. He brought us to completion in our spirits at the core of our being. Our attitudes and our actions, they're under construction. But have you seen who you are? That you're a work of the master architect? Don't turn Frank Lloyd Wright into Frank Lloyd Wrong.